Hi everyone. If you are having a tough time figuring out what actually is happening in the state of Punjab, you are not alone. Even the political parties right now are equally confused. They do not know what's happening. Which side is winning, which side is losing, but one thing is clear. It is now becoming an up versus an all battle. Jaise Kejriwal ji jaake majithiya se maafi mangte hain, ab mar jaoge magar nahi kar sakte. जैसे केजरीवाल जी जाके आतंकवादी के घर में सोते आप मर जाओगे नहीं कर सकते और अगर शांति चली जाएगी भाई और बहनों तो पंजाब में हमारे पास किसी के पास कुछ नहीं बचेगा और आज मैंने फिर से आपको बोला कि पंजाब के सामने खतरा है छुपी हुई शक्तियां आम आदमी पार्टी की मदद कर रही हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के फाउंडिंग मेंबर ने कहा है कि ये शक्तियां आम आदमी पार्टी और केजरीवाल जी से जुड़ी हैं। वीडियो में कहा है केजरीवाल जी को बाहर आना चाहिए प्रेस के सामने आना चाहिए और सीधा लंबे भाषण की जरूरत नहीं एक शब्द हां या ना कुमार विश्वास सही बोल रहा है या झूठ बोल रहा है हां या ना केजरीवाल जी डरिए मत बाहर आइए पंजाब और देश को बताइए उन्हीं के साथी ने जो आरोप लगाया है वो बहुत खतरनाक है दोस्तों बहुत खतरनाक है इसलिए जो कल उन्होंने उन्हीं के साथी ने इनके चरित्र का जो वर्णन किया है इसको हर मतदाता ने हर देशवासी ने बड़ी गंभीरता से लेने की जरूरत है पंजाब के मेरे भाई और बहनों ये लोग पंजाब को तोड़ने का सपना पाले हुए हैं ये लोग सत्ता के लिए अलगाववादियों से भी हाथ मिलाने को तैयार है सत्ता पाने के लिए इन लोगों को अगर देश भी तोड़ना पड़े तो ये उसके लिए भी तैयार है इनका एजेंडा और देश के दुश्मनों का एजेंडा पाकिस्तान का एजेंडा अलग है ही नहीं सत्ता में आने के लिए तो कुछ भी कर डालेंगे उनके एक साथी है उनका कल बयान आया था कह रहे थे कि केजरीवाल जी ने मुझे कहा कि अगर पंजाब के सीएम नहीं तो ठीक है दुनिया के पहले नए देश के पीएम तो बन जाऊंगा मैं समझे आप बात आतंकवादियों के घर में जाके रहते हैं एक छोटे मियाँ साहब और बड़े मियाँ किसानों को आतंकवादी कहते हैं ये है सच्चाई आपके सामने मुझे ये बताइए देश को बताइए कि क्या पिछले चुनाव में आपके घर पर टेररिस्ट एसोसिएशन से सिंपैथी रखने वाले लोग बात कराने वाले लोग आते थे या नहीं थे जब मैंने उस पर आपत्ति उठाई थी तो पंजाब की मीटिंग से मुझे बाहर कर दिया गया था नहीं कर दिया गया था और मैंने एक दिन नंगे हाथ पकड़ी थी घर पर मीटिंग बाहर एक प्रहरी भी खड़ा था कि नहीं नहीं अंदर मीटिंग चली मैंने उसको धक्का दिया हरियाणा का प्रहरी था वो राइट साइड हट अंदर जाके देखा तो वही लोग बैठे हुए तो मैंने कहा किनके साथ मिल रहा है नहीं नहीं कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं इसका बड़ा फायदा होगा इसका बड़ा फायदा होगा तो वो ये बताएं मैं समझता हूं कि आतंकवादी दो किस्म के होते हैं एक वो आतंकवादी होते हैं जो जनता में खौफ फैलाते हैं और एक वो आतंकवादी होते हैं जो भ्रष्टाचारियों में खौफ फैलाते हैं आज ये सारे भ्रष्टाचारी इकट्ठे हो गए हैं सारे चोर लुटेरे ये सारे इकट्ठे हो गए हैं और ये मिलके इनको इनको मेरे से डर लग रहा है एक तरह से इन लोगों के लिए मैं आतंकवादी हूं जनता के लिए तो मैं स्कूल बनवाता हूं जनता के लिए अस्पताल बनवाता हूं लेकिन इन लोगों के लिए मैं आतंकवादी हूं इन लोगों को रात को नींद नहीं आती सोते हैं तो इनके सपने में आता हूं मैं सो यू वर्ट द चार्जेस यू वर्ट द डिफेंस Now, if you think you've heard everything, you've seen everything in the Punjab battle, you could be wrong, because remember, hours before polling, anything can change. As again was clear in the way the 2017 polls panned out. Now, what's the news that you don't get? First and foremost, you know, I'm just helping you think here. Think like an informed viewer. First and foremost, I want to know how is it that just days before polling. if you have noticed in the last few days the turn of events suddenly started to pick up pace things became very fluid is that an indication 
of a larger game plan. Then, the other question that I have on my mind, why is everyone only and only targeting the up? See, no one is targeting the Congress, no one is targeting the BJP, or even Captain, or the Akalis. In spite of the baggage that they all come with, in spite of questions that can be asked of every one of them, but how is it that all political parties have gotten enemy number one, a common enemy during these elections. What really does that mean? Now I want to talk about the third important question, the third important news that you don't get. Kumar Vishwas. All this started with the Kumar Vishwas' statement. Now, see, no one knows about the veracity of these allegations and they are allegations right now. But I want to talk about the timing. Why is it that Kumar Vishwas decided to speak about this only now. Though remember again, the timing cannot be the only defense that the Aam Aadmi Party uses to deflect attention from this very, very serious charge. But still, there are questions that should be asked of Kumar Vishwas. Is he not using the timing to his advantage? Now, there are reports, I do not know whether they are true or not, that Kumar Vishwas could be getting central security. So the timing, because, you know, any other political party, if there are allegations being thrown in any of their netas, they say these are only allegations. Where is the proof? Proof dekhaiye. But yaha par, na Rahul Gandhi wo proof mang rahe hai, na hi BJP na ye proof manga hai. So why is it and how is it that they are blindly believing what Kumar Vishwas is saying? And then, if you've heard what Arvind Kejriwal said very, very closely, see, there are some questions that he might have answered, but there are some questions that he ducked, some questions that he did not talk about. Did you hear him saying bluntly, that whatever Kumar Vishwas has said is absolutely wrong. It's a lie. He did not say that. So if that charge is wrong, why not say it? Another important thing. You know, Punjab is a border state. This is the reason why there is so much of emphasis on security and rightfully so. It's extremely important to have a stable government there who is in control. But tell me something, have you heard Arvind Kejriwal denouncing the Khalistani movement, the radical elements? He hasn't done that. Why? So, you know, there is that gray area that he hasn't touched. Is it because he wants to still appease a particular vote bank? And if he's doing that, isn't that wrong? And if he's not doing it, like I said, why not come and say this in, in as many words? The other important point. You know, is there a larger grand plan here? Do you see all this being orchestrated? Because suddenly all political parties are speaking the same tone. Every political neta, barring which party he is from, is reiterating the same charges. So who is the ringmaster here? Who is the ringmaster? Who benefits if the AAP does not gain in the state of Punjab? Because see, for the last few days, there was a growing buzz that the Congress is coming back to power. They've had a master stroke in a Dalit chief minister in Charanjit Singh Chani. But now clearly, I think that advantage is not working for the Congress party. And this is the reason why you have seen Chani making the bhaiya comment You've seen him sharpening his attack like never before or Anvit K. Shrival. Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi are doing much the same. So does this mean that the Congress has got a sense it is losing the state? Has it got that sense? Because somewhere, I think the voters are also smart. They will begin to connect the dots. And then, as I said, if there is no single party that gets a clear majority, and if it is a hung house, who benefits?
Because right now, as I said, it's a multi-cornered fight in the state of Punjab. Whether it is the Shiromani Akali Dal, whether it is the Congress, whether it's the captain with the BJP, whether it is the AAP, if no one, if no political party is able to get the numbers, what happens? And who benefits? Who benefits also by keeping the Aam Admi Party out of the state? Because, you know, I, like I said, being a political journalist is important to keep your eyes and ears open. And everything that happens, remember, is all connected. Nothing is in isolation. We've seen this time and again that the BJP always benefits when it is in a direct contest with the Congress party. Because clearly there are a lot of things that the Congress has to answer for and it's easier for the BJP to pin them down. But when the BJP is fighting with regional parties, with powerful regional satraps, the result is different. So who does it help if you have a direct BJP versus a Congress battle? Think about it. And then also for the Congress party. Few months ago, it was a given that Congress is winning the state of Punjab. But if things change right now, and the Congress loses this very important state. Clearly, what's the message that's going to go out? So does it suit the Congress also to keep the up out? Because don't forget in Delhi also what happened. And this is something I've you know mentioned earlier also. In Delhi, the Aam Army Party picked up majority of the Congress vote. And this is the reason why the Congress has not been able to grow in Delhi again. So this is why it helps both the BJP and the Congress by keeping the AAP out of this all-important state. Now, there is one more question that a lot of you have been asking. Uh, that if the BJP is not a big player in the state of Punjab, why is it that the BJP is doing so much hard work? Why do you see them aggressively attacking the AAP? Why is the Prime Minister there? Why is almost everyone else also there, you know, conducting rallies? Why? I think that's a key question. And it can be answered in multiple ways. The BJP, even otherwise, remember, is a 24 into 7 election winning machine. They are there because they have to fight. And I think that that's a good thing because that really shows you the hunger a particular political party has. But there is another way to look at this. The dynamics in Punjab have changed. It's a beleaguered Congress. The Akalis are also dealing with their decade of misrule. Don't forget that. Massive corruption charges, the Majithi angle, the drug angle. Captain now is without the Congress, but he is with the BJP. Right? So just think about this. The BJP is going without the Akalis. It is working on a larger game plan. So could the BJP also benefit out of this entire narrative right now that is playing out in the state of Punjab? And as they say in politics, never say never. Never say never. One more important bit, you know, when, when we were speaking about the Congress, he is a Dalit chief minister. Now, one more buzz that had come out from the state of Punjab, and I think I must share this with all of you, is the angle of a Dalit chief minister versus a Jatsik chief minister. Now, this again has been played on by different political parties. You've seen that narrative being pushed that Jatsiks are not going to be happy with a Dalit chief minister. And there is also a buzz again, I do not know how true this is, that Navjot Singh Sidhu and Channi themselves right now are looking at a tight contest in their seats. So I think the story of the Congress party and the kind of problems it has got itself into, a lot of them self-created, is a topic that we can go on and on talking about. 
the final thing, the final thing that I want to speak about to you as we'll close this video is that watch out. Watch out for the next few hours. I would not even say days because the Punjab story is moving very, very fast. But as I said, it's only when you're aware of tiny, tiny little things and what they mean, what they don't mean, that you understand which way the politics in the state is going. And somewhere there is a very, very strong sense this time that the results in Punjab could surprise everyone. If you like this video, if you have suggestions, you have feedback, do drop those thoughts in the comment section. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, share it with as many friends and always thank you for your support.